Hi, Rob Lukey with Our Capital Group in Not Prop Realty. I wanted to take a second to go over the Case Shiller Index and these two charts that I put together uh, regarding, first of all, this is the Fed Reserve uh, Bank of New York. They did a survey of consumer expectations on home prices. And then I wanted to go over this chart, which is the shares, shares of single family and multi unit starts, and obviously the Case Shiller Index. And then I wanted to talk shop prop and our capital group so first of all real quick shop prop really as you can see we surpassed the three million dollar mark that's money that we gave back to our customers uh, when they bought and sold a home through us bought or sold a home through us excuse me our goal there at shop prop realty is to change the way the world and sells real estate by putting more money back into our clients pockets there's a ton of lost in homes every single day by people that use a full commission realtor and that money just is dropped for no reason. And our goal there is to make home buying uh, less expensive uh, for consumers. That being said, uh, our capital group, uh, as you know, with our cap capital group, the goal there is to provide short-term investments. We're assuming people have investments in uh, homes and rental. The, our, our capital group is uh, a spot where Want to invest in real estate but that wants to be on a short-term basis that's our goal here as you can see by our past performance if you go to past performance we try to buy and sell as quickly as possible uh, this year the market slowed down a bit uh, about in May it started to really slow down and I'll show you that uh, based on the case Schiller index and so even though it slowed down our goal still is to exit out of these properties even if it means selling at a break even or even once in a while, obviously a, a loss at has to occur as well. So if any of those things happen, uh, we're, our goal is to reset in, in, in properties as quickly as possible. Because even though we can anticipate where we think the market's going to go, obviously nobody can guarantee that uh, from that standpoint. So let's look at where. And obviously, so if you have an account with our capital group, you can only go and you log on. And when you log on, you'll see something that looks like this, which is will, will be your available cash, your estimated account, what properties that you're in. So the nice thing about that is the whole idea of that the that the idea of you own a piece of this. As you can see, I only own 55% of this property. There's other partners that own the other portion of it. So they get to see that when they're uh, involved with a particular property. You can always go to and search for available properties that are coming up. Uh, majority of our clients are passive investors. That means they place passive bids and they just say invest uh, $100,000 into the next two properties that OCG buys and then they'll place an order. Uh, and they'll go into a queue and then we'll buy, as we buy properties, they'll own a piece of those properties. You can also go to uh, close p &L and you can see oh, what happened with this the property and so forth, and you can see those uh, as well. All that being said, I'll talk, let's talk about. Uh, the, so again, if that's interested in doing, simply contact us, and, and you can contact contact us here, and we can do that. Uh, regarding the Case Shiller Index, first, and I'll say there's good news, bad news. For those who have been following, remember we talked about that the market wasn't going to be able to uh, sustain a you know a 13, 14 percent year over year rate of return. We expected it maybe to drop down into the 2 to 3%. That's what's going on right now. And so that's why you're seeing such a slowdown in the overall market. Now, 2 to 3%, 4% a year is still a decent rate of return. And I, I, I could see actually this increasing back uh, into a 10% rate of return. And I'll tell you why here in a second. In 2015, late 2015, early 2016. So, and I think that we could potentially break through that 2006 highs. Right now we're sitting at about the 2004, mid 2004 lows, but overall 20 city composites, every single, every single city saw their rate of return decrease. Okay. Now, uh, again, I want to show you what uh, that means. So it was all, what that means is that it went from returning year over year 14% to year over year 8%. Now that does mean that home prices actually dropped. 
over the last over the last year they slightly dropped not just the rate of return but they've actually dropped okay so these all all of these if you look at the may and april and you look at the june and may change all this is the rate of return that that seasonally adjusted rate of return and you'll see that they dropped across the board that's a you know a decent decent drop so what what do i what are, what am i uh looking at as far as overall going forward and why i think that you could see that the rate of return, like I said, is about a, two, let's say, 2 to 3% rate of return right now. This is the interesting chart regarding shares of single family and multi-unit starts. We're below a million units started uh, in, in uh, the country this last report, and that's significant. We've only been below a million units, uh, and that was prior to the boom that we saw in, in uh, uh, the 2000s. Now, what this means is that you saw this huge spike up in, in, uh, uh, in housing starts, right? You saw this huge spike up, and then all of a sudden you, you had a bunch of inventory, and now we've worked through all that inventory, and now the housing starts are low. Good news, bad news is this. Good, the bad news is, is that construction companies are saying that I don't see enough demand to build any. The, the good news is, is that if this stays down here low enough, inventory starts to shrink sh shrink and demand goes obviously the the lower inventory is going to increase prices more buyers competing with less inventory that's one side the only other side that i wanted to talk about is this little uh, consumer expectation chart and you'll see that still the overall debt crisis is still with us right now i mean when you look and you look at what this says uh, the federal reserve bank of new york says that when they question people who are potential home buyers, why they didn't buy, they say, I don't have enough money saved or I have too much debt, 55.7%. The other 52.7% said that they don't make enough money to buy a home. So th this, this crisis that we had is still with us. And I think that as we work through that over the next maybe five years, we can see those 2006 prices pop. Uh, and get through. That means another 17% uh, increase. We're below 17% overall from the highs that we saw, in, and this is the average of 2000, 2006, 2007, depending on the market that you're in. So we're still 17% below that, so we can still see that rate of return potentially over the next five years. Anyhow, hope that helps. Everybody have a 